Yo, Ryan Trunky here. Today, I will be doing What If Deco Had Archangel Part 1. So let's get started. No, I honestly don't think you can become a hero. So before, like, before I start this uh, story, Izuku will have his own quirk and his shyness and stuttering nature won't be added. So yeah, let's get started. My name is Izuku Midoriya and this is my story. Growing up in a world where everyone has quirks is amazing. On the day of my fifth, fifth birthday, I was going to find out what kind of quirk I was going to manifest. It wasn't until the morning of my birthday when I woke up that I felt a disturbing pain on the left side of my back. I was rushed to the doctor. It wasn't until I got to, to the doctor he had ask, asked me like to remove my shirt so he could further examine the area of pain. When I removed my shirt further for like examination, I had a black angel wing growing, uh, growing from the left side of my back. The doctor began to fear that this was the quirk of a villain. At this point, my body began to react to the fact that I was gaining multiple abilities such as super speed, quick healing, super strength, the power of flight, and last but not least, to be able to control fire, but my fire was black. The doctor then told my mother that I was bad that she would try to keep me calm because if my power was to be unleashed at full strength, there would be nothing but a mass of destruction. After the doctor like visits, my, I visit my shelter friend Bakugo had asked me what my quirk was. I couldn't really explain it what it was, but I decided to show him the black flames and black angel wings. He called it a villain quirk. From then on, he said, "You play the villain, Deku. You have the perfect quirk." I was isolated due to the fact that my quirk had properties of darkness. I made a vow that no matter what anybody say, I will become a hero whether they like it or not. So now, 9 years later, so time skip. Growing up with my quirk which I've decided to call Archangel, I've closely studied all heroes to find weaknesses and strengths that could help gain some form of advantage to how well our team uh, comparable, comparability, sorry about that, would work between our quirks. I hear the bell ring and hear the teacher say, Alright class, we're going to have a test today. As everyone complained, the teacher then said, I'm kidding about the test. I know many of you will be going to different schools, but we have two students who will try to attend UA. Then Bakugo said, Tish, who is stupid enough to try apply to UA when I'm already stronger than these efforts? So don't compare me to anyone in this class. The teacher responded with the second student who also applied to UA is none other than Izuku Midoriya. The classroom fell in silence since everyone had isolated him. He didn't like the fact that fact that everyone avoided him and it, like avoided any contact with him just because of the fact that his quirk had a villain like properties then Bakugo said what Deku you better withdraw your application to UA your villain like quirk will not be acknowledged by any hero then Izuku said whether you like it or not I'm going to UA so that I can prove to everyone that I can use the power of darkness to become a hero. So the day had felt as if it like were a regular day. Even after the like confrontation, 
that had just occurred between Izuku and Bakugo. The school day ended and Bakugo along with his lackey left and went to grab a bite to eat. Bakugo complained at his lackeys. Who does this bastard think he is trying to become a hero with a villa like quirk? There is no way he would be accepted. So in another part of town, Izuku had been thinking whether or not he'd be accepted by anyone at UA. The only person who accepted him is his mother but like any teen all Izuku wanted was to have a friend but thanks to Bakugo telling everyone that Izuku manifested a villain quirk he was avoided. As Izuku like was walking home drinking a bottle of like soda he thought of many scenarios as to what his high school life would be like when they saw his powers of darkness as he was lost in thought a sludge villain had attacked Izuku. Hey boy, mind if I possess you, it seems like you have a power, powerful quirk. This will teach the heroes to mess with the like to not mess with the evil villains. So, uh, like the thought of Izuku's quirk being used for evil terrified him. To see all innocents being killed by his quirk that he vowed to use for justice, Izuku angered had like skyrocked. Slime villain then said, What are you doing, kid? You're quite struggling. Then Izuku starts yelling Wah! as a black like barrier appeared and repelled the slime villain as the villain was shot by a dark blast of energy in which Izuku shouted Dark Aura. As two blasts of the attack caused the villain to splatter around, All Might had appeared. Ha have no fear, for I am here. Izuku's eyes had lit up like a moon on a clear night. All Might began to wonder about the mess. Izuku then said, All Might, I'm sorry, I activated my quirk and disobeyed the law. All Might looked like confused and said, You did this to the villain? Then, yeah. I'm sorry all might sir, this was my doing when I was 5. My quirk manifested and this is it. Izuku showed all might what his quirk was, the powerful of the, like the power of darkness and he channeled his power to show uh, his hero all might and said to him, my boy, it doesn't matter what kind of quirk you possess, as long as you have the determination to change the minds of those who doubt you anyone can be a hero. Izuku shed the tears and began to cry. He gave All Might the soda bottle so he could capture the villain and said, Thank you All Might, you're my hero. I vow to make this power I've been given to given to be like a symbol of light. As Izuku left All Might to capture the slime villain, three minutes after Izuku had left All Might's hero, Steimer had be, like been up. <sighs> I'm glad the kid didn't see me in a weakened form. This will be, would have broken his dreams. Even more, knowing his uh, hero was no longer be able to be a hero, as All Might collected the villain remains, he was able to activate his muscle, for muscle form again. Sorry about that. And he jumped from building to building without noticing the bottle which kept the villain had fallen out of his pocket. So. Uh, in another part of town, Bakugo and his lackeys said, "Oh, what hit me on the head? It was a bottle with a like. It was a bottle with the green stuff in it." As Bakugo looked uh, like at it in the eye, suddenly appeared, and he tossed the bottle away. And slime villain had been released and headed straight to possess Bakugo. And so chaos broke out as Bakugo was being held captive by slime villain. Some of the pro heroes had showed up to the scene but couldn't do much since their quirks will hit the hostage as Izuku showed up, he saw his old friend had uh, like held hostage, Bakugo's eyes said help me I'm afraid, as Izuku saw the slime villain, he wondered what happened to All Might. As Izuku approached the villain whom he had like defeated, uh, defended himself from the slime villain began to scream in fear. Keep that kid away from me. I'll do anything. I'll even release the boy. As he released Bakugo, pro heroes here were like 
were confused on why he gave up quickly as Bakugo was being taken to medics to exa like examine if he was okay Izuku began to walk away and the slime villain hadn't gave up on possessing Izuku and start laughing <laughs> kid you think I'd given up on possessing you as the villain like slime villain charged uh, like at Izuku all bystanders and pro heroes shouted look out kid Izuku began to shout, uh, shout dark void as like a dimensional rift opened as the villain is transported to dimension where they are tormented by black flames for eternity all that could be heard were screams of pain and everyone feared that izuku was threat to all civilians ran in panic all pro heroes took a defense like def defensive Firing sense ready to attack Izuku until a familiar voice was heard. Have no fear, for I am here. All Might said as he defended Izuku from all heroes who were ready to kill him. They asked why would the like All Might protect uh, a boy who has that kind of quirk. As All Might responded, responded, our job as a hero is to ensure that future generations do not fall into temptation to become villains. I saw take charge of the boy per personally after all might had said this everyone felt more e at ease later after like the commotion had died down izuku and all might were walking in silence until all might spoke and said my boy i will teach you to be seen as a hero and help help you to prove uh, like to the world that it doesn't matter what kind of quirk you have when like the two reach izuku's uh, home Mrs. Like Mrs. Midoriya uh, tackled Izuku and began crying, say, "Where have you been? I've been worried, worried sick." As Izuku's mom saw All Might standing next to him, she wondered what was happening. All Might then said, "Excuse me, Mrs. Midoriya, I ran into your son after he was attacked by a villain, and I saw his quirk in action. I would personally like to train your son so that he could maybe be accepted by everyone, regardless of his quirk." The there ended the like the night as all might promised to oversee izuku training he said he said midori yeah, meet me at like dagoba municipal beach tomorrow at 6 a.m and prepare to be trained so yeah i'm gonna leave it right like right here i hope you enjoyed a uh, kind of redo of the archangel part and thank you for the 116 uh, subscribers when i see you right now i don't know how much will to, like it will be later like you're really like guys you are really quick thanks to all of you uh so yeah and i as i always say please don't forget to leave a like subscribe and catch you in another video peace out bye bye Just won't stop